Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Faring Jazz Bistro at the Harold and Dorothy Stewart Center for Jazz. Welcome to Jazz St. Louis. Jazz St. Louis is a not-for-profit organization whose mission is to lead our community in advancing the uniquely American art of jazz through performance, education, and community engagement. Please join us in thanking our season sponsors, the Stewart Family Foundation and Worldwide Technology. I'd like to remind you of our listening room policy and ask that you please keep table conversation to a minimum during the performance and silence your phone out of respect to those around you and the musicians on stage. The use of flash photography is prohibited, as is the use of recording equipment. A face mask must be worn at all times when moving throughout the venue. Your mask may be removed while you are at your table, but we strongly encourage you to remain masked while seated. Thank you for joining us, and please enjoy the show. Good evening. How is everybody here tonight? Yes, indeed, on a Thursday night. Welcome to Jazz St. Louis. Thank you all for coming out. We want to say a big thank you to our friends at Industrial Ally who are sponsoring this week's performance as our exclusive sponsor. Please give them a round of applause, and I think we have some folks from there with us here this evening. Thank you so much. We have been looking forward to this for, when I say a long time, I mean a long time because we were almost ready to have the band here when everything shut down two years ago. So <laughs> this has been a little, bit, uh, a little bit of time in the making, but we are thrilled to have them back, thrilled to have Connie and her trio making her debut here uh, in St. Louis. So we had fanta a fantastic night tonight. Last night, we're looking forward to great music all through the week. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to St. Louis and the Jazz St. Louis stage. How about it for Miss Connie Hahn?
so much. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Very good. How are you guys doing? I'm really happy to be here with my trio. This is my second night in St. Louis, but really, it's still very brand new to me, and I'm loving it so far. Please give it up for Ryan Berg on bass. That was a great solo. And on the drums, we have producer, composer, arranger, Bill Wyzaski. Also a great solo. I like to call that opener our little warm up for this evening. It is my original composition called Mr. Dominator. <laughs> and I assure you, it is not what you think. It is merely a nerdy jazz girls reference to dominant chords and how many of them there are in this godforsaken tune. In all seriousness though, this tune was inspired by Hank Jones and Thad Jones. I am a huge fan and uh, astute student of the Jones brothers, including their other brother, Elvin Jones on the drums. And uh, I've always admired the way that Hank Jones and Thad Jones interpreted the blues with, with such elegance and poise. And I tried to uh, capture that spirit to the best of my ability through the lens of my own artistry, uh, Mr. Dominator. Mr. Dominator is also on my second album, Iron Starlet, released in 2019, which, by the way, will be available tonight. <laughs> How many of y'all own CD players? <laughs> Very good. So since I'm from LA, everyone there is just like, oh, Spotify, Apple Music, and um, even snobbier ones use Tidal. Uh, hey, I mean, 24-bit, 96K, who doesn't like that? Uh, but, <laughs> so I was gonna say, if you guys didn't own CD players, you could hang it on your wall or something. <laughs> it's, it's got some pretty nice artwork. But yeah, I really look forward to meeting you guys after the show because I will be signing um, these CDs. And uh, more importantly, I will be playing a lot of music. We will be playing quite a bit of repertoire from that album, as well as the uh, previous album before that, Crime Zone, and also on a new record that just got in the can in November that uh, no one but live audiences have heard. So, very exciting. We're gonna move forward now with uh, another original composition and uh, this was written, uh, inspired by who I consider to be the original gangster of modern jazz piano. He, in my opinion, really solidified and established where post-60s piano language went and evolved. And his name is Mr. McCoy Tyner. He has so much range. I mean, we may know him from stuff like Passion Dance and his uh, work with the John Coltrane Quartet for his like super heavy modal fourths work and you know dropping fifths down there, the bombs. But he was also a great bebop player and uh, I, I just love how diverse of a musician he was. He was truly a beautiful spirit. And uh, I'm looking forward to playing this one. This is dedicated to him. This is called For the OG.
Thank you very much. Thank you. We'd like to continue now with new music from the new record. And this is actually a composition by Bill Wydzaski here. And this is a beautiful tune that actually has some functional harmony uh, and a comprehensible me uh, melody. And in my opinion, it is actually very beautiful. And I hope you guys uh, enjoy it. Uh, this is called Wind Rose Goddess.
now with more of Bill's music, actually. And uh, this song is also very beautiful. Bill has a knack for writing melodies with integrity and beauty. And it is something that I always value in our partnership. So this song uh, is dedicated to a dear friend of his that passed away two years ago. And uh, you can definitely hear the poignant beauty in this song. Uh, this is called Captain's Song.
really proud of us. We've only rehearsed that a few times, <laughs> this tour, and it's a brand new tune that I wrote. Uh, it's appearing on my third album on Mac Avenue Records, and yeah, I'm, good job, guys. Do you guys like uh, Sumerian mythology? Sure. Cool. So in uh, Sumerian, the word for demon or guardians of the underworld that uh, guard the queen of the underworld, or Rashkigal, they are, cal they, are, they are called Galu. So I kind of felt like this tune had like this demonic energy to it. And uh, I called it the Galu Pursuit. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> so we're going to continue now with uh, something that is very much going to contrast what we've been playing. It's a beautiful, beautiful ballad that was uh, written by a great that actually just passed very recently. And it's, uh, he's actually not in the jazz world. He's bigger than jazz. <laughs> His name is uh, Steven Sondheim. <laughs> Uh, Bill hipped me to Sondheim four to five years ago. He is an astute student of his storytelling, his composition, and especially his h approach to harmony, which uh, is definitely more advanced than the average musical theater writer. <laughs> A lot of impressionistic, pretty ethereal extensions, major chords, all that stuff. and Just very, very pretty. But he was also an amazing storyteller and, you know, had for example, Sunday in the Park with George, which was his interpretation of George Seurat's painting, which I had the pleasure of seeing in Chicago uh, a few months ago, which was super awesome. Uh, but the song that this is from is actually called Sweeney Todd. The oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street. It is so morbid, um, amazing revenge story. Everyone dies uh, over women. So it's very appropriate that we're playing this song. <laughs> so uh, Bill Wysaski here, he arranged this song uh, four to five years ago. And typically what happens is when we write older, when we review older material, we're like, ah, we've outgrown this. But this one has really endured the test of time and I've really enjoyed uh, continuing to play it and evolve over it um, in the past few years. So without further ado, this is Bill Wysaski's arrangement of Stephen Sondheim's Pretty Women.
Thank you so much. Thank you. On the bass, we have the killing Ryan Berg. And the amazing producer, composer, arranger, Bill Wyzaski. That was groovy. That, no, seriously, that's the name of the tune. <laughs> it's on my debut on Mac Avenue, Crime Zone. And uh, just a friendly reminder, it will be available along with Iron Starlet after our set. I cannot wait to meet all of you. I will be signing it with a beautiful golden bronze Sharpie. <laughs> but seriously, you guys have been an amazing audience. And, uh, oh yeah. This run has been good so far and we can't wait to uh, play even more in St. Louis. We're gonna close out this set with actually a medley. And the medley is between two tunes. The first one being uh, a brand new one from uh, the new album that uh, has not been released yet. And it will be transitioning to uh, an older tune that is on Crime Zone. And uh, back to my Sumerian mythology reference. Miss Oreshkigal, she's a bad B blank. Oh yeah. So this is uh, uh, dedicated to, to her. And uh, this is my medley of Oreshkigal of the Underworld and Southern Rebellion.
Thank you.